Good morning and welcome to worship this morning. I know we are getting started a few minutes later than normal, but we had quite a celebration this morning before worship. It was our Sunday school celebration as our young people did some really fun things to celebrate the end of the Sunday school year, but also our confirmation youth presented to the session three projects. And these projects were so good that I have asked, I hope both of them will be willing to share them with the whole congregation down the road, um, perhaps in the fall when we do our rally Sunday. Our young ladies were very creative and uh, really had some good grasp of their faith journey and creative ways to show it. So um, as I said, I hope we have that opportunity to share it with everybody. So as we gather in this time, I welcome everyone here today and a handful of announcements. Tomorrow night, the women of the church are invited to dinner at the barn at six o'clock to kind of celebrate the end of the year. And um, I, I'm hoping it's not too late to go ahead and just leave a message with uh, Janet at the church office to RSVP, just so we know when we get to the barn how big a table and if the weather allows, we will eat outdoors. So it will just really depend um, on this weather. And um, this is our week for eggs and milk. So if you're willing to donate um, eggs or milk, the kitchen will be the kitchen door will be unlocked on um, Monday and Tuesday to drop them off. And our mission committee, no matter how many get donated by church members, we always bring. Um, I believe it's a dozen eggs and a dozen half gallons of milk. So that has been a commitment we've made every other week for, goodness, has it been almost a year now that we've been doing this. So uh, Roxbury Social Services is so grateful, and we are so grateful to you all for helping support this. Uh, our mission staycation is coming up, so if you have not yet... Um, let Kathy Ritchie know that you want to help out at least one or two days. Uh, speak to Kathy and she will be more than happy to uh, let you know what's going on and uh, many hands will definitely make a big impact. Kathy. Yes, so we, we are looking for registration. There is no cost but it is um, geared for 12 years and older. Um, other than that, I think um, the open door deadline is coming up. We are doing a July-August combined newsletter. So think July-August and get that information to Sandy so she can get the newsletter put together. And um, I think, are there other announcements that we need to start off with? If not, um, we will, oh, Lauren's here again. I'm, we have our soloist back, Lauren. She's been here now many, many, many times, and I'm so happy to have you here today. So welcome, Lauren. Yeah. And again, welcome to all who are here with us today. So we will center ourselves now in this time with our music.
We are God's work of art, each one of us a precious gem, a marvelous melody, a potter's delight. We are God's handiwork, woven together in love, shaped with infinite compassion of God, with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. We are the body of Christ, living in his truth, sharing his peace, carrying his hope. Embodying his love throughout the world he loves so much. We are here to be reminded once more who we are, whose we are, and what our lives are about. We are here to be uplifted, renewed, and empowered to live out the miracle of who we are, and by the power of God working in and among us, we open ourselves to God who makes all things new. Children, here's what 
as we, as we come to this time to celebrate our Sunday school, uh, Miss Donna is going to do our Sunday school prayer. Good morning. Grace and peace to you, our children. We will always give thanks for you. We pray for you constantly because we love you. We love you just as God loves you. We know, children of God, that God loves you so much. There are no words to express it. There are no wonders we can perform. But we know that the power of God is in you. We can see it upon your faces. You remind us of God's love. Teach us to see the world as you do. Surprise us with the wonders you see. Show us what God, I'm sorry, show us what gifts God has given you. And we will bless you, and we will always give thanks for you. Grace and peace to you, our children. Grace and peace to you, who shows us glory, God, shining through your faces.
as always, that is so beautiful. Thank you. So as we come to this time of our celebration of confirmation, I'm going to invite Kylie and Kendra to come up. And before I ask them the questions of confirmation, I do have a liturgy that I found that I invite us all to respond to today. Many voices are speaking to us today in the movie theaters, on the concert stages, on the television. Today, Lord, we choose to listen to your voice, to respond to your desires, to follow your path for us. Many voices are speaking to us today in our homes, in our friendships, and in our community. Today, Lord, we choose to listen to your voice, to respond to your desires, to follow the path for us. Many voices are speaking to us today through celebrities, commercials, and through media. Today, Lord, we choose to listen to your voice, to respond to your desires, to follow your path for us. Your future journey 
And uh, as I mentioned earlier, these two young ladies put together wonderful, creative, um, thoughtful faith projects to share at the session about their journey. So, um, so thank you both for being a part of our program and growing up here and letting us celebrate you. Amen. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I have a friend to stop you. <laughs>